Hello Collective, welcome to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray and ask that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy okay whatever the enemy has stolen from you it is returned to you all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak okay excuse me as i have said once again so shall it be judgment is final okay let's go ahead and get into our terror reading um, real quickly, King of Swords, King of Swords, King of Swords. I told you to hold back. I told you to hold back because you're a distorted emperor. Oh, you see yourself as an emperor, but you're an emperor in the reverse. Okay. You're out here obsessed with a feminine energy. Why? Because you've been telling a lot of lies and trying to block offers for this person. Why are you trying to block offers for this person, King of Swords? And you're taking some type of quick action. To hinder someone's movement. To block someone. Why are you disinvested in someone's life? Right? You are lying to people behind the scenes. You've been lying. You didn't want people to know that you were lying. Um, there is something about you where it's that you present yourself to be something that you're not. I don't know if you work in the healthcare field or whatever this is that you work in. Because when you come out, the hermit car keeps coming out with you. Which means you are someone work-wise, you may be in the medical field. But I don't get that you are a doctor. You could be someone that is like a manager in a hospital, uh, 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 like an administrator in a hospital, in a nursing home, something of that nature. Um, you are someone pretending to be something you are not. Okay. And I'm being told that I'm on the right path with this. You are incompetent as can be. You are threatened by a feminine energy, losing your emotions behind the scenes, but trying to stay calm and pretend like everything is okay. Everything is not okay. You are toxic as can be, and you have been taking action to block someone's forward movement. So let's go ahead and get into your energy. You've been collaborating with a couple behind the scenes and a queen of wands behind the scenes to hinder someone's justice, someone's balance, right? You are intimidated by a feminine energy. You've lost quite a lot of money behind the scenes. Again, there goes that hermit car, which means you do work in the nursing field, although medical field, but you're not a, a licensed, like you're not like a doctor. You're not a nurse. You're not a CNA. Uh, maybe you used to work as a CNA. I doubt it. But you are someone who's like an administrator or a manager in a hospital or a nursing home. And you're experiencing a lot of loss because of the path you took when it came to some type of connection that you held back from. Right. You're living in fear and you want to take some type of impulsive action to come to work someone. Uh, you're losing a lot behind the scenes. You may even be crying because everything is not a okay on the home front, the money front. I think your kids don't even like you from what I found out about you. Okay. You've been very consistent with trying to block a feminine energy, tempering with someone's resources, their work, right? Trying to hide someone, work, trying to block someone from being seen. So we're going to go ahead and get into your energy. Okay. Since you want attention, we'll give you attention. Yeah. You want attention. So today we got time. Okay. All right. You've been coming for a feminine energy and this is about to be you. You thought you were in the clear. You lied to yourself. You're a thief. Okay. People don't know that you're a thief, but you're a common thief. People are about to be rejecting your offers. You are causing a lot of mayhem in a company and they don't know that you are destroying this company from the inside out. And I think I did a read like this before you came out before in one of my readings, you are destroying a company from the inside out and they don't realize it. But the whole time they're still focused on some like they're focused on a feminine energy. They're still out there pretending like everything is all a okay and that you all are happily collaborating together. No, 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 no. This person is destroying a company from the inside out. So what we are going to do is get into your energy. This is a whole company, a whole community of people watching a queen of cups, right? Trying to cause this person a lot of laws, have them living in anxiety when the whole time they should be worried about this king of swords that's in their community. They should be standing their ground, trying to protect themselves and being practical about a situation. 
So you as the king of swords, let's get into who you are, what you do and stuff like that. Again, you are someone very karmic, very vain, right? Something was illuminated to you. You were supposed to leave something alone, but you're stubborn as heck. You said you want victory. You want things to go in your way. You are determined to d destroy someone, block someone. You've been stealing from someone. You're not having any victory. This is your future. This is your future. You're defeated. And this is the God's honest truth. You're about to be trapped in some type of situation you won't be able to get out of. You have a lot of legal issues coming in for you. You are heartbroken behind the scenes, going through a lot of laws, trying to pretend like everything is okay. Everything is not okay. Again, you're going through some type of dark night of the soul, dark night of the souls. You are living in fear because your resources are being depleted by the second. Do you know why they're being depleted by the second? Because you are stealing from someone else. There you go showing up as a thief again. You've been stealing from someone and causing a stalemate in someone's creativity, someone's healing, causing burdens or trying to weigh someone down, trying to prevent them from healing, right? But some Someone is still healed because they're still showing up here with a six of cups energy and as a hermit and they are very much aware of what you've been doing so you on the other hand you've martyred yourself you are someone who's very vain you're incompetent as hell you've been monitoring someone and you thought you were going to come in and give them some type of offer and they're going to see it as something that's like an investment from you they don't see it that way someone sees you as nothing but an illusion because this is what you do professionally it's called illusions you are someone that uses your body to get favors from people. You're very much into your looks. I don't know if you were younger, your, your family groomed you to learn how to use your looks and your body to get favor. So this is what you do on a regular. You're someone very vain. Going through a tower, you may be one. You may want to be careful with all that drinking because your liver. You may want to go get that checked out. Yeah, you may want to go get your liver checked out while you're out here trying to defeat someone, trying to plot the right way to come in and cause someone an ending, make them an offer or something like that. Nobody wants an offer from you because we already know what it is you are. There's a woman that you have been targeting and you think this woman does not know that you are coming towards them. This woman saw you a mile away before you even took action, before you even thought about coming towards this person, she saw you a mile away, okay? And you thought you were gonna come in quickly and make something seem like it was a victory, like you were supporting her. I saw you in a dream, you came to someone's door, which you should not even know from what I got in the dream. You should not even know where this person stayed because when you came, I'm telling you, I saw this in a dream. When you came, that woman wouldn't let you in. She will not let you in because she was not expecting you. I'm telling you, she left you out in the cold. This is your future as well. She left you out in the cold. You came with a box of nonsense that you have been stealing from someone. And you were trying to return it and make it look like you were trying to do them a favor that you were the one saving the day when the whole time you, you're the one that has been stealing from someone. Talking about, I'm just returning your stuff. I don't really like how everything played. Nobody cares. You've been stealing from a woman. And you're under judgment. This is your future. You're very, you're very like arrogant. Your energy is very arrogant. You're very bitter and unhealed, very malicious. If you have children, they don't like you. They don't like you. They can't stand you. They see you, they see you as someone very superficial, very ignorant, very arrogant. You need a lot of healing. Okay, you need a lot of healing. This is how you present yourself, but that's not how you are. You could be a Sagittarius, but this is how you present yourself, but you're a facade. You have a problem with a woman because she knows who you are at a core. You've been able to deceive other people and pretend like you're someone hardworking. You're lazy as heck. You're not hardworking. You're lazy as heck. You're someone that sits at your desk, do nothing. And when people come to you in your office, you act like, well, you're busy. You're doing something. You're not doing nothing. You could be someone that's basically sitting there that maybe even watching videos and things like that, pretending to be productive. You're not productive. This is a masculine in a healthcare community, folks. So if you work in a healthcare community, a nursing home or something like that, that's a masculine amongst you all that's lazy as heck right? Emotionally unbalanced because things are not going his way. He's lost a lot of money, but he's still out here trying to pretend like everything is okay. Still trying to pretend like he's modest. A brother is not modest. A brother is unhinged. Someone uses their body for favors. Someone uses their looks for favor. 
How he got that job he has is questionable. You all may want to start asking questions because someone is in a position that they don't, they don't deserve. Okay. They should not be in a position. Someone needs a lot of healing. He thought he was going to come in and have some type of new beginning with someone. So he was planning on communicating. This is absolutely a kink of source. And he thought he was going to come in, communicate with someone about some type of offer, or he knows there's a woman that has some type of blessing attached to her. So he was going to come in and this woman saw right through him because she knows he's full of nothing but illusions. Okay. You're full of nothing but illusions. You are pissed off because a feminine energy knows you. They know what you're about. This woman is balanced. She's the truth. And you're a facade. You may have lied on someone, right? You may have lied on someone and said they were flirting with you. That woman didn't never flirt with you. <laughs> you lie. Yeah, I'm telling you, you lie. And now you're unhappy. You lie. And maybe the truth is out now. That woman never flirted with you. Someone stood their ground. Like they rejected you. You may have made a pass at someone and they rejected you. And it offended you. So instead of you being a man about it, you decided to tell lies on a feminine energy, a queen of cups, possibly. Yeah, you told a lot of lies. You lied because someone left you out in the cold. Again, there you go, King of Swords. Headed right to poverty. You lied because a feminine energy rejected you. You wanted her to see you as abundant. You know that picture that you sell to everybody where they see you as someone very nurturing, someone very diplomatic, someone very hardworking, someone very sincere. You're not sincere. You're destroying a company from the inside out. This is a whole enterprise that's being destroyed from the inside out. With your friend, by the way, you have a friend in that company and you two are working together behind the scenes to destroy a company from the inside out. And while you're doing that, they're there busy celebrating with you. Say yes, yes. Okay, busy celebrating with you because you learn how to sell yourself. And literally too, you've learned how to pr perfect the art of deception. You know how to deceive people, but you met a woman that knew what the heck you were about and she saw right through you and you felt intimidated because how dare this little queen of cups see right through you. Uh-huh. Like your whole life was on, on display for her. How dare this little queen of cups see through me. She's going to expose me. I got to find a way to get her out of here. Get her out of this institution. Okay. You were trying to get some of fire from a job. And now you're stuck in there and burdened because you what? You're going through financial issues. You're in some type of relationship, marriage that's not even fulfilling. You're unhappy in life. Everything you do, there's an arterial motive. Ladies and gentlemen, in a nursing home, in a healthcare community, there's a administrator that is very strategic in everything he does. Everything. Every interaction with you is planned. Every word is planned. This man sits back and he, oh, he's under judgment. This is someone that does rituals and he's working with a queen of cups in the reverse in that company. I saw someone with a scar on her face. They work together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They work together to cause their company losses. And she's been there for years, by the way. Everything he does, every interaction you have with a masculine, it is planned. It is orchestrated. What he says to you is orchestrated. It is planned. It's rehearsed. What he says to the next person, it is orchestrated. It is planned. It is rehearsed. Everything is rehearsed. You've been invading someone's privacy and you're sitting in that company acting like you don't know anything that's going on or you've been making them false promises. You can't help those people. That's what they don't know. You can't help them because you're not skilled enough. So while they've been collaborating with you to destroy a feminine energy, oh, surprise, surprise, he's destroying you all from the inside out. A masculine does not know what he's doing. You put someone in a position that does not qualify for their position. That's, that's the reason why he was let go from the previous company. But he's, he'll tell you that he quit. No, 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 no. He was let go. 
You all may want to start looking into your administrators and look into their histories because you've hired someone that appears to be an emperor on the outside, disappointment on the inside, impulsive, dishonest, broke as heck, causing illusions that he's what? Financially secure, that he has offers, solid offers to give to people, want people to believe that he's abundant and he does investments. Someone is a freaking liar. He's down and out. And the universe is about to complete his position. As far as his finances, they're about to finish it. Wipe it all out. Why? Because of who he came after. You need to be careful with who you, you pick fights with. You think coming for impress energy and hiding it. You come out here trying to pretend like you're doing things the right way. You've been sneaking around. Tempering with an impress energy. Nobody got time for your games. Okay, I warned you in the last video. I said, hey, sir, thread with caution. Didn't I tell you? I told you, thread with caution. Because what? We be knowing. Someone knows a lot more about you than you realize. And you're out here feeling yourself. You need to go get your liver checked out. Because you're, you're a drunk. Someone may even show up to work drunk. Regularly. Regularly. You're sick. And you may even know you're sick and you're still downing more liquor. And this sucker drinks the hardest of hard liquors. Oh, he turns up. A brother has a, oh, he be turned up, turned up. A brother be so turned up, he don't even remember what day it is. When he wakes up in the money, he's frustrated and angry that he gets to go to work. Every day he got to wake up to go to work. It's like going through a dark night of the soul. Oh, I have to go earn my money. He does not want to have to earn his money. He wants to wake up and the money is just available to him. Someone is a thief. You all hired a thief to manage a company and he's making you all false promises. False. Oh, baby. False promises. This is an emperor that lies. He's a freaking thief. Don't got nothing going on in his life, but is busy causing still mitts for what? A queen of swords that rejected him. He met a woman that was actually the truth. This is like you, the, the, the fake meets the real. And he met a woman. He said, she's younger than me. How the heck can she be that established in life? She shouldn't be in this position. I'm going to get her fired. She's actually genuine. Oh, no, nah, I can't have that. I be out here pretending to be genuine and stuff. I need people to keep believing that I'm genuine. Whole time he's this toxic as heck. Okay. Stealing. Someone has been stealing his whole life. That's how he has whatever it is he has. If you all want to know, I'm going to leave that out. But I just heard the devil comes in a sweet, a good smelling perfume. Someone is burdened behind the scenes. Okay? Someone is burdened. All he does is cause manipulations. There's a masculine in a company that's way down because the truth is out about him. Going through endings. Anxiety. Fear. And he's, he may have been working with a queen of pentacles to cause some type of illusions and gaslight people in a community. About who? An impressed energy. Planning to bring endings to this woman. Have her trapped in something that got nothing to do with her. And they're both and all of them are under judgment. This woman's independence and, and security resources are, are being protected by the spirit realm. You ain't going to have it. Someone don't got nothing in their pocket, their wallet, their bank account like myself here to offer anyone. All they do is make false promises. And he is absolutely working with... A feminine energy in that company. This is the secret. He's been hiding. I told you, throw with caution. You may want to think twice before you do something in the past reading. You didn't listen. You're still out here feeling like you're, you're all the big bad wolf. We got lions out here. You thought you were the big bad wolf until the lion got on the scene. I told you, leave that, leave that person alone. Leave that empress alone. Didn't I tell you? I told you, but you still wanted to go in and cause hindrances to her ten of pentacles. 
You say, I'm going to deplete your resources. I'm going to take it away from you. If you won't be with me, if you won't share with me, I'm going to destroy it. This woman is still going to have wish fulfillment and she's going to keep going, perfecting her what? Craft. And you're lying behind, thieves, thieving behind. Guess where you're about to end up? Guess what you're about to end up? You want me to tell you, sir? Where are you about to end up? Right where you started before. Right there. Oh, hopefully, I'm, I'm not, listen, this could be your future. I don't know if you've been to the penitentiary. You may be going back. You may be going back. You're having an affair with someone at work too. You are having an affair with, your, with one of your employees because te technically, what? You are in charge of their hospital. You are in charge of their nursing home and you're there sleeping with someone. There's something about a child too. Your, your kids don't like you. They don't like you. They don't like you. You think something is funny. You think something is funny. You've been, in, yeah, you think something is funny. You've been investing in the wrong thing. You're very impulsive as heck. Very impulsive as heck. And you're thinking about taking some action to cause an ending to someone's investments, right? Their business, their offers. You don't want someone receiving an offer. You don't left company A to go to company B. <clears throat> Why did you go to company B? Because the woman you are intimidated by left company A to go to company B. You left A to go to B, what? To slander someone's character, to lie. You said, oh, this woman don't have the qualifications she needs for this job. She's not adequate enough, right? She don't know what she's talking about. Whole time you are projecting. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't have the qualifications for your job. You are incompetent, right? You're mad, mad because a woman rejected you. Your looks weren't good enough for her because that's what you've been all about. Look at me. Look at me. I'm good looking. I'm handsome. I can get whoever I want. And then you met this woman and she turned her back. She said, nah, I'm good. I'm here to work. I'm here for my pentacles. I don't got time for none of that. I'm here to protect my investment. So all of this lustful energy, you're going to have to keep it to yourself. Keep it in check. You got mad, mad. But instead of you being a man about it, what did you do? You weren't practical about it. You instead started spreading lies about a feminine energy because you were intimidated by her independence, her self-sufficiency, her resources. She didn't need you for a handout. Ain't that true, sir? You thought you were going to come in and gaslight someone. Yeah, you thought you were going to come in with ulterior motives and end up stealing from this woman. Causing her nothing but still missing life. And you still think something is funny. But I bet you after this video, you won't think it's funny. Mr. Public Meat. Public Property. Yeah, you thought you were going to come and present this woman with an opportunity for a love connection. Just so you could end her. Oh, no, 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 no. Someone saw you a mile away. This, this, this ain't about to be Lady and the Tramp. This is not Lady and the Tramp. At least the Tramp, he was willing to put in work to become a better version of himself. You, you're a lost cause. You're out here trying to destroy someone's work. A whole high priestess. Okay? Trying to destroy someone's balance and their resources. You say, I'm going to defeat you. I'm going to take your resources. I don't care if I work for it. I don't care if it belongs to me. I don't care what you had to do to get them. I'm going to take it. No, you're not. You're under judgment. Your head is straight for poverty. If you're not careful, you're in, you're headed for prison. You're headed for prison because the universe has it set up so well that you can do something today and you forget about something you did in the past. And you, you, you think no one knows, but someone knows and the universe will reveal it. There you go. There you go. And for you, the w woman or women in their community, that's sleeping with this man. You might want to be careful. Because there's something you need to know about him. He and his ding dong. There's something about his ding dong. There's something about it. Be out here chasing men around just because they look good. Damn, but look, 
oh, my hus, my husband, or oh, my boyfriend, my uh, side piece, he's so cute. Isn't Mr. John cute? Hold on, Mr. John is infested. Try and, and uh, uh, um, intentionally getting you infected. And then you want to come out and flex because John picked you over Sally. The whole time, you don't know Sally knows a little bit more about John than you do. So Sally is sitting behind the scenes clapping that Mr. John went with you. Mr. Billy went with you. Mr. David went with you. Okay? Because what? He comes with mm, problems. That can lead to you what? <clears throat> Going back home to the spirit realm. Out here celebrating because of... Uh, uh, what is this? Like a, the word manager was about to come out because the, a manager chose you over. Girl, that manager got something. Yeah, he got something, honey. He got something. Someone is toxic. Someone has been using their body their whole life. Someone is going to be passing away from some type of disease he has. And it's going to eat you from the inside out. Oh. <laughs> Why are you all fighting about what you invested in? Right? You were fighting to block a love connection for a king of wands, right? You told him to keep his distance from an actual queen of pentacles that was very genuine with him. You lied. Now, Mr. S Mr. King of Swords is out here, hanging out here in limbo, because he wants to come in and give some type of false friendship to someone. He wants a woman to see him as a twin flame, as a friend. No, 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 honey. She knows what you are. Come up with a different plan. Come up with a different plan because you thought you were going to have victory in stealing from this woman. Stealing her resources and you're going to have to hold back. Going to have to hold back. Dum dum. Yeah, this is your future. Bum bum. Bum bum. You and that woman... I don't know if you're working with a few women in a company. Oh, you all have been busy, 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 busy trying to block someone, keep them in hiding, in isolation. Someone is not hiding. They're coming out. <laughs> someone is bringing balance into their own life. They have no reason to be hiding. I'm telling you. And they're going to be moving on while you are out here about to be going through poverty, trying to figure out when your next meal is coming in. Like you don't know. This is how bad it's about to get for you all. But can you lend me five dollars? I just need to buy some ramen noodles. And he's like, I um, I'll think about it, and I'll get back to you. Hey, Melissa, can you borrow me five dollars so I can buy some noodles? Again, Melissa is thinking about it. Melissa said, last time I paid you, you didn't pay me back. I'm still waiting for my money. So she may not even give it to you. Hey, Peter, can I have $10 to buy some ramen noodles? Peter said, like, I'm thinking about it. Just like you all were out here destroying someone's life and telling people not to help them. That's how nobody is about to be able to help you. No one's going to want to help you. They're going to have to think about it first. So I'll think about it and get back to you. They ain't coming back to you. They're getting away from you as far as possible because they don't want no parts of your karma. You've been, you've been very determined. Your arrogance. Uh, I said arrogance and the emperor came out. Your arrogance, uh, sir, is what's about to put you out in the cold and lead to your ending. Nobody wants an offer from you because it's not a genuine offer. Your arrogance. Uh, and there are people around you that know and believe that you are arrogant and incompetent. There could be a community of people choosing to do the right thing. They don't want to be bothered with your mess because you're making false promises to them. You've been making false promises since you stepped into a hospital or a nursing home. False promises. And you... You tried to complicate life for a woman in there because she saw right through you. And you were looking around like, how do you do that SHIT? But she never said anything. You didn't even know someone could borderline read your mind. 
You're dealing with a lot of insecurities. You don't even feel man enough because of the way you got to where you are in life. How did you get to where you are, sir? Causing other people's ending, ending other people's work, tempering with other people's work. Is that how you got to where you are? Oh, okay. Pretending to be in the upright. Oh, I don't do that. This is someone that ticks on people's personality. His personality, it ticks on the energy of the room. So if he steps into a room and you know everybody's laughing, ha ha he he, he'll laugh, ha ha he he. If everybody's pretending to be rich, he pretends to be rich. If he's in a neighborhood where people are rich, he is say he's a millionaire. He'll pretend to be your friend and he gets what he wants from you and then he dash you on the side of the road. There's an administrator in a company you all need to be mindful of. Be mindful. Threat with caution. Someone is like the plague. Someone may be trying to recover from an illness. Mm, trying. Trying to recover. That's, what we're, that's how I'm going to put it. Mm-hmm. There we go. Gaslighter. Pretending. But whoever you're trying to block is coming out of hiding. They will be establishing friendships and relationships with other people that you've been trying to block. And they will be connecting with the kind of people they need to connect with. The right people. That's going to help them grow. And you can stay trapped where you are. <clears throat> you've been trying to manifest some type of ending, blockage, or imprisonment for someone. It's not working. You've manifested that for yourself. You're, in, you're an embarrassment. A sorry excuse for a man. Sorry, excuse for a man. And there's a wife energy going, but uh, there's a wife energy behind the scenes crying a lot, losing her mind. It's some nonsense. Nobody cares about all of that stuff. Yeah, you, you, you're coming in. I don't know if this is like a queen of wands taking some type of action to come towards someone. That woman knows exactly why you're coming towards her queen of wands. You're going through an ending too. You've been collaborating to end this person's what work. So now what are you supposed to come in her life to do be friends or something you've been refusing to let go of something that belongs to someone else so what do you think you're about to do coming into their energy that's why she got her sword pulled out at you because she knows she knows what you and the whole community has been doing monitoring this woman stalking this woman right causing disappointments and things like that in this woman's life she knows just like you've been monitoring this woman she's been Picking up on your energies. Uh, and she knows exactly what role you played in there. Your resources, it looks like they're not doing too well. Your mental, not doing too well. You and a king of wands in there, not doing too well. You may be stuck in your mind because a king of wands wants to give a love offer to someone else, not you. <laughs> I don't got time. That's their little girl stuff. I don't got time. Let me hurry up and get on up out of here. Get on up out of here. It's a, there's an administrator in a medical company, healthcare company, whatever this is. With the hermit coming out, because in my mind I was asking if it's a medical field where it's like uh, seniors be taking, being taken care of. And because I saw the hermit quite a few times, it's a yes. This is something, this is a business where it's like elderly people being taken care of. And there's an administrator that oversees a nursing home, don't know what he's talking about, don't know what to do, has no connections, okay, pretending. Someone is making false promises, false promises to a community. And while he's there, oh yeah, he's making these promises to a community that everything's going to be a okay. He's a business savvy man and they made the right decision in giving him this position. And in time, things will be balanced out. They will be abundant in life. The possibilities are limited. New opportunities coming in, right? Successful business so they can sail onto karma waters. All manipulations is going to lead to nothing but loss. This is the secret that nobody knows. This man is defeating this company from the inside out and destroying what? Their resources. Okay? By the time he's done with you all. Oh, I picked up on this energy a, a, a few weeks ago. By the time he's done with you all, you'll be filing for bankruptcy. Trapped in your mind. Pissed off as heck. Say, why didn't I see this? About to go from an abundant community to what? One filing for bankruptcy. 
Your, your uh, may want to reconsider. Look into a masculine that you hire. He's a thief. This man keeps coming up as that. Someone is a thief. And he's been working with one of yours that's been in this company for a long time to steal from you all. Cause destruction in this company. It's not just one. It's a couple of women he's been working with in your company to steal from you. Sneak you all. But the whole time you are what? Focused on someone that's no longer in a company. Not worrying about you all. And he's out here violating someone's privacy. Logging into someone's phone. Someone's, uh, uh, I don't know what this is. Someone's business account or something. And tampering with numbers and things like that. This man is impulsive. 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 Every action he takes is against you all. And you don't know that you think you invested into someone in the upright. <laughs> and he's about to have you all weighed down just like he's weighed down. And he's out here pretending again that everything is a-okay. I'm good. No, he's not. This is him. Because the ancestors don't told him what the heck is up ahead for him. It already started right here. Right here. And he's living in fear. But still want, but still what? Wants to take action to cause someone a loss. Because what? He's a narcissist. A narcissist. And he is the one that's going to be disappointed in the end. This is a whole narcissist that someone hired. A company hired. And put in a very high position. Be cautious. I'm telling you. Women in this company that's been laying with this man because he's good looking. Thread with caution. There's something about his ding dong. There's something about his patty whack. He may be good looking on the outside, but there's something you don't know. This man got options. Options, I mean options. Anything that moves is an option for him. Someone goes both ways. And he don't use protection. Okay? He don't use protection. He does not use protection. He wants to have some type of brand new fresh start or something. So he thinks coming into a, a feminine energy to gaslight them is going to secure him a new start. No, 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 no. This is going to be you. Take that action and come towards that woman. This is going to be you. This is how you have low vibration on women that will just hop. Oh, he's so good looking. What is he about though? Is he genuine or this? What is he about? You don't care about any of that? Just that he's good looking? That's all you care about? And that he looks like he got what? Money? So you're dreaming about him? And you think you two will be what? A good fit together and have success together? No, 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 no. There's a man in a company that's pissed off because what? He thought he saw a queen of cups. She was easy to manipulate. And when he approached this woman, he got something he was that was unexpected. She saw right through this man. Some, there's a queen of cups that's very gifted. Level of discernment is alarming. She saw someone and read him at hello. This woman saw this man the day, the day she met him at that company. She knew he won about nothing. About nothing. Because her ancestors be telling her the truth about people's positions in life. He's way down. Someone was putting on a whole act. Pretending to be abundant in life. Pretending to have opportunities to give to people. Don't got nothing. He don't got nothing to give to people. Not a thing. And because he couldn't deceive a feminine energy and she knew his secret... He said, oh, I got to follow this heifer to that company. I'm going to go there and tear her, her boss. I'm going to go tear her boss to end her. Let her get comfortable in her position, then fire her. And he said, nah, that man, that, no, 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 no. That man got common sense. At first he did not. He was listening to what you had to say. He was that king of, that queen of source energy. He said, I'll listen to what he has to say. And he listened to you. At first, he thought you were about something. 
you meant business and you knew what you were talking about, but then he found out you were nothing but what a facade causing illusions about someone because what you couldn't live with them. So he decided to be practical about the situation and put an end to your shenanigans because he sees you as a little boy, a little boy pissed off because you couldn't get an empress energy. You didn't see clearly. You didn't see someone clearly. There was a whole empress in front of you and you didn't see clearly when she got away and then an a, a, a emperor actually saw this woman for who she is. You're offended. He said, no, 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 no. She's not an empress. She's not an empress. And that man is looking at you like, well, what kind of idiot is this? Like, I know this woman is solid. This woman is solid and keeps to herself. Minds her business. Minds her business worth committing to is a dream woman genuine as can be and you want me to believe that's what she's a liar you've been lying about a queen of cups and the emperor you've been lying to knows it and he's putting an end to this madness why are you this why are you mad you mad you mad why because your ego was stroked your ego was struck. You came to destroy a, a queen of cups and she did you in. And the woman didn't even have to lift a finger. All she did was reject you. And your ego was struck. Why are you mad? Because you were ill advised by someone right in front of you. That's the person you need to be mad about. That's the person you need to be, to be mad at. For lying to you and putting you in this predicament. Okay? They cause illusions to you. So you made the wrong decision about a queen of swords. You decided to go with a queen of swords. And you thought this was someone very confident, very genuine, someone you, you could work with, someone very practical. Now you want to put an end to her. Why? Because you give to the wrong person. And now you're pissed off because the person you invested in, there's no return on investment. But instead of you focusing on that, you want to take it out on a what? A queen of cups, empress energy. What do that got to do with her? What does your poor choices in life got to do with the price of tea in China? Because you and this queen of cups, empress energy I'm picking up on are not even in the same environment. But somehow you keep finding your way into this woman's energy to steal from her. To sneak her. And then you want to make it seem like you're being practical about the situation. You want to make it seem like you're not hindering this woman. Yeah, you are. Stop lying to yourself. And there's an emperor behind the scenes that knows exactly what you've been doing and how obsessed you are with this woman. You are obsessed. And you want to take some type of action to travel towards this woman to give her some type of offer. This woman don't want that offer. You see her as wish fulfillment. And this is the God's honest truth. You see someone as wish fulfillment, but she don't see you as wish fulfillment. You're trying to put an end to an empress energy. Trying to cause her stalemates. And then there's a wife figure. I'm guessing this is your wife or someone that's wanting to end, some, end a, a, a commitment. Like she don't want this woman receiving this a, a offer from you. This woman ain't looking for no offer from you or her or your family or anyone. Someone minds your business. Because all you do is what? Lust after someone. That's all it is. And she knows. And that's why someone keep, keeps your distance and kept your distance from you. You're a liar. You're a liar. I told you to thread with caution because you didn't know what was going to be revealed about you. And you still took action against a woman to temper with her business. I'm what you call karma. I, about, I settle the scores for people that don't have a voice. I'm karma. A lot of people don't know that when they meet me, but I'm karma. What you put, what you, what you send to me is what you give back 10 times full. I'm karma. I balance stuff out. You send this energy to me. I sent it right back. Send this one to me. I sent it right back. But what I'll do is wait when you forget and you get all comfortable and you think it's over and you don't forget and everything and you're securing, that's when I come. Say, hey, knock, knock, remember me? As above, so below. You already manifested this in the spirit realm. Now I'm here to give it to you. 
in the physical. Remember me? Karma. Yeah, you ain't nothing but a facade. And this whole group, this whole community, you've been having them living under a facade that you're abundant. You're, you are very intellectual. You're very what? Multifaceted. You have a lot of connections. You don't got nothing. You don't got nothing. You don't got nothing. Nothing. Everything you invest in turns to nothing. Stuck. Not going nowhere. Just like you block this woman's business, that's how every aspect of your life is blocked. Mm. Looks like I'm telling the truth. You're a thief. And your pathway is not clear, honey. Poverty is the road that lies ahead for you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. You're a jokester out here. You're a jokester. A whole jokester. The the knight of pentacles in reverse. That's an immature character. Which fits everything I've been saying about you. You're a jokester. A clown. You don't take anything serious in life. That's where you are in the position you're in now. Mentally. Emotionally. Intellectually. All you do is act out of fear. Impulsive as heck. You're a freaking joke. At your age, you're a joke. I'm getting someone between their 30s and their 50s. No more than 50. No more than 50. You're a joke. And you've been working with a queen of pentacles in the reverse. You, that, you've been working with a few women. A couple of women in that company. <laughs> so now that you invested in this woman that you're... Or you, you chose this woman over an empress energy. You're finding out that she's not a good option. What do you think you're about to do? Take action to come towards an empress energy? That woman don't want to work with you. Someone, doesn't, some, someone does not even want to see you. They don't want to see you. Because they know what you did. And she's not heartbroken as in crying boo-hoo-hoo. But she knows who you are on a, at a core level. So you wanting to move in fast? To, because you see her as wish fulfillment or healing? Oh, you see her as a healer and she's going to help you have a fresh start. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. Someone wants to be by themselves. Don't worry. If I just go in and apologize to her, you know, I can get her to get. Nah, someone knows a little bit more about you than you think they know. Someone can take you back to your childhood, what you used to do and everything. And you know that too. And you're living in fear of that. Because you know, this is that one of those coward of a man, uh, like little boys, you'll show up to work every day and do your work and you're skilled at your job and stuff, but he'll be behind the scenes telling people you don't know what you're doing. Why? Because he don't know what he's doing. So he has to project that energy towards you. God forbid he likes you and you don't reciprocate the feelings. So he has to isolate you from everybody. Oh, you know, she said this about you. You know, she did this in regards to you. She told me you see, all of them is lies. Nothing but a liar. So now you don't want to be committed. You don't want to give to your queen of pentacles reverse that you chose. Oh, is that how it works now? So who do you think you're about to go towards? Clearly not the collective, but the collective don't want nothing to do with you. And this is keeping you up late at night because you know, you know. You know someone sees right through you. You're sick. I mean, literally, you're physically sick. There's something with your health. You better go. Fit, you better go focus on that. There's a queen of pentacles in the reverse that's committed to what? Destroying another woman. Why? Because that woman is the actual truth. She's the actual truth. So she's committing herself. To what? Destroying another woman because she can't compete with that woman. She does not compare. You can't compete where you don't compare. You may want to leave someone alone and go focus on your, yeah, focus on your dreams or something. Focus on manifesting something different for yourself. 
Maybe this Queen of Pentacles reverse is trying to manifest something new for herself now. <laughs> is she still out here paying her friends to do someone something? Oh. And it's leading to nothing but disappointments for her? Oh, okay. That makes sense. But she's going to keep going. Because she's dumb just like you two. Twitter D, Twitter dumb, Twitter dumb, dumb, dumb. The whole collaboration. That's what it is. Twitter D, Twitter dumb, Twitter dumb, dumb, dumb. Mm. Yeah, you are out here celebrating an uh, emperor taking action to end someone. You don't know the whole time the emperor is way down. And he's not even a genuine uh, emperor. Not even a genuine emperor. Someone's playing make-believe. He's playing make-believe out there. Out here stealing, causing burdens for himself, thinking he's causing it for someone else. Man, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Trapped in your mind about someone's offer. Trying to block someone's offer. Hold on to someone's offer. This is what you're doing. You're trying to hold on to something that belongs to someone you don't want to let go. You're going to have to let go. Because you said over your dead body, oh, the, the spirit realm don't have a problem with that. You're already sick. They don't have a problem with that. They said they don't got no problem with that. Your wish is their command. It sounds like this is the most logical thing you've ever said. So they'll hold you to it and grant your wishes. Your wish is their command. That's what they want to tell you. Okay? You're about to be so stuck in life, you won't know what happened. You won't be able to move. Might want, again, go get your liver checked out. Why you're, I think, oh, there it goes. <clears throat> your wish is their command. They're granting you your wish. You said over your dead body? Oh, okay. Oh, is it the Queen of Wands that said that? So, if she was sleeping with you, she got what you got. If she's the one sitting over her dead body, so she's committed to causing someone an ending, that's her future. That's your future, too. Someone's about to be out here heartbroken because nobody's going to want to deal with her. Hmm. But they'll be having to have people pay her to lay on her back. Mm hmm. All your secrets are out. All your secrets are out. No more secrets. You got to live in your truth. You got to live in your truth. Maybe a community of people that didn't know what you were doing behind the scenes. Now they're about to know. All these false promises you've been making them. Hey, I know this person. We can do this. If we do it this way, we're going to be successful. I know what I'm talking about. Whole time you're taking action to defeat these people. Gosh darn it. And they think you're very diplomatic and sophisticated, but all you are is impulsive. Very lustful. You lust after anything that moves. Man, woman, you don't care. You don't, you don't got no boundaries. No boundaries. You don't got no boundaries. Yeah. This chapter is over and so is your stability, so is your security. What little bit of it you have left because you're having money problems behind the scenes. You're having money problems behind the scenes. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're afraid for your secrets to get out. They're out. They're out. You're going to be losing your job. You're going to have to find a new pathway in life. You're out. Your whole secrets, everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is out. Oh, baby, everything is out. You're afraid of losing the rest of your money? You will. You'll lose it. <laughs> You'll lose it. This is, baby, I don't got time to be playing with you. You're out here living in fear about losing your money. You're out here hindering people's futures and things like that, stealing from people, but you want us to care about you losing money? Oh, <laughs> About you being weighed down and burdened. About you living in fear. 
Because you cause a lot of illusions about someone. You said someone was of the dark, but they're actually in the upright. And you're just pissed off because what? They rejected your love offer because they know their worth. Is, is, am I getting that right? Am I getting that right? You've been stalking someone. Lying and causing conflict in their life. In many, many ways. Simply because what they rejected you and they know the truth about you. They see you for who you are and you've been stealing from them. I'm hearing something about you trying to pass off a queen of pentacles or someone as the truth. As an empress energy and she's not. She's just as dumb as you are. Oh my lord. The both of you are jokes. And you're going to have to explain all of your actions. Everything. Ever oh yeah, you're going to have to tell the truth. You're going to have to tell the truth. And speak loud and clear. Don't be shy when you're speaking it. Don't be shy. You weren't shy when you were out here causing someone mayhem. You weren't shy when you were out here stealing from someone, blocking someone's forward movement. You weren't shy when you were telling lies and manipulating people around you in your community about someone. You weren't shy about none of that when you were doing it. So when it's time to tell the truth and ask for forgiveness, don't be, don't be shy. Okay? Don't be shy. Be bold with it just like you were bold with it. In the, just like you were bold with everything else. Be bold with it. Be bold with it. Yeah, clear the clutter and tell the truth. Out here acting like you're busy. You ain't busy. You are not busy. Someone is being set free from your karmic, uh, your karmic ways, your, your toxicity, basically. I didn't know how to put that, but there's a feminine energy being set free from your bondage that you tried to put them in. You're toxic as heck. A grown man out here acting like a little boy. How are you going to go project your flaws onto someone else? So you're unskilled. So you lie and say someone else is unskilled. So you're uneducated. You lie and say someone else is uneducated. So you don't know what you're talking about. And you lie and say someone else doesn't know what they're talking about. Right? You're undisciplined. So you say someone else is not disciplined. You say someone sells themselves. Or they're reckless with their body or something. Whole time it's you. It's you sleeping with, 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 with employees, co-workers, any and everyone, as long as it gives you something. You use your body for favor. That's what I keep hearing. That's how you end up with that situation. There's a difference. There are certain people that have certain situations going on, and that's because they were with someone careless that didn't care about them and, and exposed them to certain things. And then there are people like you that don't care. Just out here being reckless. You, you hear the difference in that? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, you may want to be careful. I think you all were planning some type of ending for feminine energy that you are obsessed with. You all thought you were going to barge into someone's home or something like that. And I don't know if that's a whole concept of you coming to their house with a box in my dream. You all are going to barge into someone's home uh, and do them something like you're... The, the, the group of people, the friends, were, were going to come in and beat on someone. And then you were going to come in and have your way with her so she could have what you have. You're sick-minded. You're sick-minded. Don't come to someone's door. They don't want to see you. You may think you're good-looking and that's, all the, that's the answer to everything. It's a feminine energy that does not care. This woman is going to stand her ground to you any day. You're not an option for this woman. And that's what you're mad mad about. You need to go tell that community that. Tell them the truth. Why you're actually stalking someone and set on destroying someone. Because they rejected you. And you've never been rejected before. So you said what? You, you say you, you're not going to get with me? I'm going to make your life miserable. I'm going to make you want me. And she said do whatever you want. And you've been out here doing whatever you want at your age. Grace for rise for the Empress energy people are trying to destroy a collective. Grace for rise for you. 
vision, workplace harmony, freedom to move, direction, gentle determination. Okay? Toxic ties. You may want to let go of them, Mr. Emperor. Mr. Emperor. <laughs> Detach from relationships that drain your energy. Prioritize self-care. 13. For protection. Completion. You are a conscientious... conscientious I can never say this word. You are a conscientious worker with a nag for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. I am confident. Lord have mercy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Collective, stay blessed. I'll see you in my next reading. Goodbye for now.